I, in this um, particular lecture, I'll be getting into arrays. Um, basically, what an array is, is basically it's, it's a single variable that can store many um, several pieces of data. Um, it's a simple array. Just this is all it is. It's just int x, int x, and then you specify the the length of the um, array about how many types it has, how many spaces it has. You nest the number into some square brackets. I'm gonna do an int x, and then I'll do the square brackets, and then I put 10 inside. Um, you can make a particular part of the array equal something. So let's make Let's make x at element 0. Let's make that equal to 6. Let's make that equal to 6. Okay? So like we're saying at the first element of the array, it's an integer. It's an array. It's an integer array. That means it only holds integers. You cannot hold, you can't hold strings. You can't hold doubles. You can't hold any number with a decimal. You can't hold any words, any characters, nothing else but integers. Any could be as large as you want. Well, there's some, speci there's some specifics to that, but pretty much as large as you want, and uh, you just have to specify um, which element of the array. I'm sorry, the first element, so it's x is 0 is equal to 6. So I'm saying the first element has a value of 6. So I could actually print what this first element is. So if I do a printf, right, I do a percent d, and then I put a comma, and I do, um, I literally do x is 0, it'll print out 6. It's the first element of the array, and I specific I specified that as six. Okay. Um, you can you can leave the other elements blank. You can print out the whole entire array. You can print out um, zero ten if you wanted to. You can you can stick. I'll do x at what x at three is equal to five. I can do that, and I can actually use a loop from before. I taught you guys loops from before. This is why a for loop is very, very easy. Very easy. Just another, create another integer x, whatever. Int x. Prepare this rate above the four. Inside the four, I'll do um, x equal to zero because I'm going to start at the first element, which is zero. X is less than uh, x is less than ten. And I'll do x plus plus. And then inside of this, what will happen? I'll do a printf, right? I'll do a printf. And then I'll do a percent d, comma, and then I'll do the, okay, I'll listen to this. I'll do the array, right? The array x at element x. Actually, I'll change it. Let me change it. I'll do x at element y, because I don't want you guys to screw up on this. I don't want to screw. I don't want to screw you guys up. Let's change it to y. Okay, change it to everything to y. Okay. So that means every time it comes around, every time the loop comes around, um, the x at element y will print. Element y first starts at six. Well, it starts at zero, right? So that's why I specified y int y equals zero. And then I did it as long as it's less than ten because it's going to keep adding one every time, and it's going to print it out. So, if I run this, it'll print out my 6 and my 5. The rest is just, the rest is not there. It's nothing, and that's not storing anything. 0 is storing something, element element 4 and element 1 are storing something. Element 2, 3, and 5 to 10 not storing anything. So, it won't print out anything. You could also manipulate uh, arrays very easily. Like, if I wanted to add, I wanted to add x at 0, with um, x at uh, x at uh, three there, so we do an int sum, and I make x at zero plus x at three equals sum. I'll get um, sum equals x at eleven. If I wanted um, user input and uh, the value for the um, for the array, right? I'll just do a simple scanf, right? I'll do a percent d on that, and then an ampersand. After that ampersand, I'm going to stick the element at whatever the element is. So x at y, ampersand x at y. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a for, uh, for loop, right? I'm going to start, do it like I did before with the printf. But instead, what I'm going to do, let me just create this for loop for a second. So for y equals 0, I'll restate everything. 
Um, why is this in 10? Actually, we use everything. Y plus plus. What's going to happen every time this loops? I'm going to move one more element into the uh, one more element more in the array. This is okay. Listen to this. I'm going to start at zero, right? Why is it going to start at zero initially? Every time it uh, every time it loops, I'm going to take another scan f. So I'm going to be scanning every for every element. I'm going to scan for element uh, zero. I'm going to do a scan on that. I'm going to get the input and put that element zero. I'm going to add one to y. So I'll be in element two. I'll be at uh, y at one. Okay, so y at I have what one is element two. Um, okay, so then I'll keep scanning until I get to ten. So why is less than ten? So I'll keep getting to, and then I'll do a print at right after, and I'll print those ten numbers that I scanned for in the previous loop. So I'll just copy whatever I had from before, and I'll just print whatever I had, and it'll actually print out every time uh, what I, well, what my ten inputs were. Um, this right here, I'll show you next how to initialize multiple values at a time instead of doing it one at a time. Um, let's do this right here. I'll do an int x at 5, okay? That means it's going to have, uh, what, six elements? And I'll make that equal to these six elements. So to do that all at once, you'll do an equal sign. You'll nest your French braces again. What you'll do is you'll do your values. So whatever, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 4, 6, 8, and uh, 10. So that's basically initializing um, your array right there and then adding those values right to the array in one line. Very quick, very easy. Semicolon at the end. That accomplishes the same thing as doing a new line. It's just saying x of 1 is x, sorry, x of 0 is 1, x of 1 is 2, x of 2 is 3, you know what I mean? That does it all in one line, very easy. There's a way of doing this for strings, there's a way of doing this for characters, I'm not going to get into that right now. That's, that handles that's something different, completely different. You know, uh, confuse you guys a little confused right now, but there's a way of doing that. So I'll stick around, I'll be doing pointers next. Um, next, I'll be getting to other functions later, like the length, the length function, other stuff that you can manipulate, uh, different uh, strings, string manipulation, lots of stuff. I right, stick around. Thanks a lot.